I decided I needed eyebrows. Hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Tempest and Slaughter by Tamora Pierce. Came out February 6th, new release this year, and it follows Numair Sameline from the Immortal series, but bef it's from before he became Numair Sameline. It's when he was Aram Draper, and he's going to school at the University of Karthak, and it's just kind of about his years growing up and what he deals with there. It was kind of interesting because we he has a friend named Ozorn, who is one of the princes for the Karthaki throne. And we know how the relationship is, like the outcome of the relationship, because we know how they are in the Immortal series, because meet or we meet Ozorn in the Emperor Mage, the third book of the Immortal series. And so that's kind of interesting to be kind of faced with how we, we already know the outcome, but we're kind of seeing how it starts. And so that was kind of a really interesting aspect of it. I did only give this book three out of five stars, which is probably one of my lowest ratings for Tamora Pierce books. Um, just because I feel like too much time was trying to cram into one book. Numair. It goes over four or five years of Numair being at the university. And that's made even more confusing because Numair is very gifted and with magic and very smart. And so he kind of surpasses a lot of the older students and so sometimes it's hard to tell when they say like what grade he's in how old he actually is and that's kind of even compounded by the fact that he lies about his age in the beginning of the book he says he's a year older so that was one thing that was really kind of hard to bear um and another thing that was i didn't really care for was sorry that's wally he's over here playing being a menace Another thing that, one of the reasons I gave it such a low star is because I felt like a lot of the time we spent in Numair's own head, I mean, in all, in all her, um, Tamora Pierce's books, it's told from a limited, it's told from a limited third person point of view. So it's usually told from, um, the perspective of the main character. That wasn't surprising, but it's just because of how, I think how fast everything went and how there's so little to like, there's so few action-y things going on, it's kind of hard to like not be aware that like this is all things Numair is thinking. And so that was kind of not the best done in this book. One thing that was really interesting about this book is how, so Tamora Pierce is known for her female heroines and just being very frank with like the female body. Like in the Alana series and in the Cal series, she deals with girls getting their period and going through puberty and getting breasts. And so she had, she got to do that again with Numair from the boy's perspective. And that was kind of interesting to see, especially being a female, so I didn't go through that. And so it was just kind of really in, like an interesting perspective to see it from. Another thing was, is because it's set in Karthaki, I don't know which, it reminds, it reminds me of more of an Indian influence. So Numair and a few others are like one of the few white people. So almost everyone in it has, is black or brown skinned. And that is definitely a more interesting take on it because even in some of her other books, you would just see some character, um, people of color, but like this is set mostly in a culture that is people of color. And it's another interesting thing because it's not based off of like English or England feudal lands or whatever. Like that type of ruling system. I mean, they still have, well, he's an emperor, so one ruling body of power, but it's just, it's kind of interesting to see it in the perspective of another culture, because I know that doesn't happen that often. So those are my thoughts on Tempest and Slaughter. Like I said, it wasn't my favorite of, hey, stop eating that. <laughs> like I said, it wasn't my favorite of her books. Definitely still think it's worth the read. All of her stuff is just amazing. And until the next video, ta-ta for now!